Oh, this is Josh's 25 reviews, and today I'm comparing the McFarlane Knight from the Halo 4 series and the Halo Mega Bucks Knight from the Cauldron Clash set. Um, overall, I do like the McFarlane Knight better because it has a lot more detail, but and it's a lot bigger, of course. But don't really care about the size. But the only problem with it is the little stand right here. Like it helps it stand up a little bit, but it'll mostly fall down a lot. Like no matter where you um, display it, it's gonna fall down. You gotta put it in a nice spot. Make sure you don't mess around with the little stand. But um, this figure does retail, I think, for like thirty-two ninety-nine, and it's it is completely worth the money. I would collect at least three of these because it'd be a great addition to your collection. Very nice figure. Um, next one is the Halo Mega Box Knight. Um, as you see, it's a lot smaller, of course, but. It does have more room to fit the watcher in the back than the um, actual McFarlane Knight does, but the f detail on the face is much worse. But, you know, it'll do. It's not too bad. They both do come with the Knight Sword, which is very incredible. Um, the McFarlane has a removable scatter shot. The Mega Bucks Knight does not. They both do have very nice detail. And the fact that P McFarlane and Mega Bucks can make these figures possible is really incredible because they both turned out great, they both make a great addition to your collection, and I would pick up the, definitely that knight figure and the knight that comes in the Cauldron Clash, so um, you can watch my review on that if you go on my channel. Alright, thank you. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe.